What's going on everybody? It's me Johnny. Today I want to do uh, a video by request from a user of mine named Beat Up Record Collector. Um, they asked if I can show a tour of this room where I usually sit and make all my videos showing my collection and various other things. So I'm doing it. I've done this already but it was in crappy quality. It was live and sometimes when you do live videos they come out like shit. So I decided to redo it. So Beat Up Record Collector, this is for you. Uh, so here we go. We're going to start on this wall. So on this wall, we have some things on the wall. You may see some New York things, because I am originally from New York. And um, Long Island, New York. So I'm a big Yankee fan, even though they've been sucking. But <laughs> but anyways. Um, so we'll see what we got on the wall over here. We have Steely Dan, Can't Buy a Cheap Thrill, debut album. These are all warped and beat to shit, so... Sometimes people put them as decorations. And you know what? This room is constantly under construction because, you know, I'm never satisfied. And I know how to decorate, but I just don't know where to start. And this is Led Zeppelin's debut album. So, so yeah, so if I step back, you're going to see this cubicle thing on the floor. Um, shelving. This holds all my box sets and some music-related books. So I can show you some of the titles I got. Some of my favorite artists. So right here are box sets. Um, there's Prince. You can see Elvis. These are all Elvis box sets. Here's Prince. Elvis, Elvis, Elvis. There's Michael Jackson, Billy Joel. Johnny Cash. That's a detainment. It's like TCM. You know, classic movie soundtracks. Frank, Johnny Mathis, Garth Brooks, Frank. Um, and the little box that's over here. So we got those. Soon I'll be adding the 68 comeback box set. So that'll be cool. And down here we have some books. Um, mostly Elvis. As you can see. I showed that graphic Elvis video before on here. The Garth Brooks Anthology. You know, Conjure Singer. Um, that's going to be... New ones are coming out very soon. I pre-ordered that. Elvis... Prince, and then down here I have a box of George Michael that could not fit up there. So, and there's another Prince book with a CD. So, yeah. So as far as box sets and books, that's where I keep those. So done with this wall. So now we step back over here. We have a wall with a shelf full of all my CDs, um, and this is not. Actually, all my CDs. I have a lot more than this. But they're in order, from alphabetical order, from A to Z. Actually, probably A to, like, numbers. Um, according to my iTunes library. So, yes, yeah, so we have stuff like that. So we have from Aaliyah, which is also named my daughter, all the way down to, let's see, I guess, like, 50 Cent. So... Yeah, so this is um, my CD collection stuff. If you guys are wondering where Elvis is, I think he's right... Yep, he's right in here. There's Elvis. So, where is Prince? I got a lot of Prince, actually. And Prince is right in this area. Yep, he's all that. Got a lot of stuff. And here's Michael Jackson. All right there. Okay. And then the middle shelves. Because the middle shelves were smaller. So I decided to put these cards, which I had those since I was a kid. Then on top, I have just, you know, just little collectible things I have. Like that bobblehead of Elvis. I got that in Memphis the first time I went with my dad when I was like 16. So it's pretty cool. Then we got this Pepsi can commemorating 25 years of uh, can't reach from the bad tour of Michael pretty cool collectible doll of Billie Jean seen from Billie Jean the Michael Jackson video and over here these just came out um, these are funk pop figures of Prince and this one right here is a purple rain one let me see if I can grab it ah uh. There's something very unique about this. It was a big deal, so it's making it collectible. Um, in the back, which is a little blurry, 
But instead of saying purple rain, it says purpy rain. It's missing the L. So they made a mistake on the box. So it's very collectible now. Um, I see it going for like about eh, 60 bucks. And I think they corrected it and they released it again. So, yeah. But yep, this is my CD collection. At least some of it. All the rest of it's in boxes in another room. It's just so much stuff. Oh, yeah, and down here I have my Elvis FTDs. So, in case you're wondering where I keep the big deluxe ones. And a new one for LP fans only is coming out, which I'm going to pre-order. So, that would be cool to have. All right, if, you step, if I step back again, this is where I keep all my records in there, which we're about to get to. But let's talk about right here. It says my Elvis replica guitar. You guys probably seen that guitar. Elvis use it, you know. And there you see like a, a curtain thing, like those wood bead curtains. My sister got me that years ago. Um, too bad it's not even darker out. This is over the window. You can see his full face, but I think you can see it pretty good. But that's Elvis' face, of course. And above the window, we got Michael Jackson Bad. That's my favorite era of, of Michael, if anyone knows me. Um, just a little advertisement when they released Bad 25. So. I got this Sting mask. You know, the wrestler Sting. Pretty cool. I just got it. I just got it. I think it's badass. I got that at a wrestling show years ago. So. You know, I like to go to those things. All right, let me move this light. It's blinding me, man. So on this wall, we have some stuff. Here's a picture of Elvis during the 68 comeback. Had that picture for years. Um, if anybody knows about McFarlane Toys, these came out from like 2004 to 2008. And I have all of them um, from the 68 comeback toy. This one, the one on the uh, right is number two. Then we got the Vegas one, number three, and so on. Um, I like these toys. They're really cool. Um, they came out. I just kept up with them and bought all of them. All the way down to Aloha from Hawaii. And usually, I sit right here in front of this thing. And I sit my iPad right there. And I shoot my videos, in case you're wondering. And I sit on a stool, usually. So, yeah. So, that's all my... Action figures of Elvis, which those are really cool. I really do like those. All right, and here's just some memorabilia stuff. Let me move this light again. All right, I have two identical posters of Garth Brooks because I saw him in concert twice. This is the first time I saw him, 2014. Here, good show, of course. It's Garth Brooks. Why wouldn't it be? Um, me and my sister went to that, and then I went to Greenville, South Carolina. And saw him with my daughter, which that was my daughter's first concert, which she loves Garth Brooks. So, yeah. All right. And on this wall, on this little corner part, I have a framed poster, a print with a lanyard and a, and a poster and my ticket. And if you see the purple things over there, that's, like, that's confetti I got from the concert. But this is when I saw him for the first time in 2011 in Greenfield, South Carolina. Very good concert. I think I talked about it before, but that was with this full band, so, yeah. Down here, I got a framed album of Gianni Mathis. Um, let me move this light. It's, like, blinding me. Put it down here for a minute. Okay, that's better. I got a framed autographed album of Johnny Mathis. Not like it's probably worth a lot of money, but I found this, actually, um, for, like, $2.00. And the clearance albums in this record store near me. I'm like, oh, sweet. So I got it. But yeah. All right. So next. I'm going to step back again. I'm going to show you all one more thing. Here. There's a, I'm working like, there's a bed in this room. So here's where I leave. Keep all my LPs of my favorite artists. I'm going to go up close and show you in a minute. But yeah. So this is like a cube thing. It's pretty awesome. Um, it holds a lot of stuff. I recommend these. I got these at Walmart. Um, if you guys have a Walmart, which I'm sure you do near you, Walmart has this. So, yeah. But, so let's check it out. Let's hope I'm not making you guys dizzy. Alright, so down here, um, 
Let's see if I can bring this light down here again. There we go. Here is where Elvis starts in his first cube um, from his first album. All right. Both variations. And they're all in order from when he came out. So they get the 50s into the 60s, into the 70s. Um, so these are all Elvis. These two cubes, even into this one, all the way up to the Wonder View box. Set. And I put these tabs. I need to get. I need to put the you know artist name on here. So there we go. But the latest release um, that I have is the Record Store Day release of King in the Ring. Another re -re They're re-releasing that. Um, when they do that box set, 60 comeback special box set. All right, so then here you have Prince. We have all this Prince stuff right here um, to the very new vinyl release that just came out. So this is all Prince of his albums. Then I have all his 12 and singles together, which I do have a lot. Um, then at the Prince, you got some Prince related stuff in here. And this, and then there's a tab. And it starts Michael Jackson. So you got all that. You know, I don't do a lot of Michael Jackson videos because they don't release a lot of stuff like they do with Elvis and whatever. All right, so now we're going to go down here on the bottom. I'm trying to maneuver it good. Forgive me. So then, you know, Michael Jackson continues down here. And then we got George Michael and Wham. So but he's one of my favorite artists. So, yeah. Then here we have, who is that? Johnny Mathis. I'm a huge Johnny Mathis fan. Um, he goes from here into here. And this is just everybody else. I have like a lot of other things. Some new vinyls. Some old different releases of people. So yeah. And I still have one little cube left. But after I finish that up, I don't know, man. I mean... I don't buy a lot of vinyl like I used to. So, um, so I try to be selective, but you can't buy everything. But you'll just have a lot of crap. If I bought everything I listened to, I would have a lot of stuff. So, yeah. All right. So, if I step back a little bit, on this wall, there's really nothing. Just that George Michael uh, poster, which I showed recently. I need to fill up this wall, though, with stuff. And there's a bed in front of me, so I'm just trying to keep that out of it. So now we're going to go to this wall. This room is not big at all compared to other ones, other people's rooms I see. So hold on, let me just move this bed, my feet, because it's just like a mattress sitting on the floor. All right. Ugh. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, on this wall, we had that George Michael poster. So back, I'm going to step back. And this is my movie collection you see in the background when I'm shooting my videos. Um, this contains mostly like TV series and anime series. I like collecting stuff like that. Well, I used to. Not as much anymore because it just takes up a lot of room, of course. And, of course, a lot of money. So this is mostly animated. I like classic animation and stuff. And some TV series and whatever. And then over there are my Blu-rays. And then below the Blu-rays are sequels and box sets. And then other genres of stuff. Um, yeah, these are all anime series. Disney movies. Then I have old school video games from N64, Genesis, Sega Genesis, uh, Xbox and Xbox 360. So, yeah. So... Yeah, this is this is my stuff. I used to do. I used to collect all this stuff, and this is not all my movies. Again, see, I have like a lot of classic cartoons. I love stuff like that. You know, I love it. Tom, uh, Hanna Barbera stuff. Pink Panther. I like if I like any kind of superhero stuff. Is DC Comics, especially the animated things. So I have all those, and there's a lot of stuff to hear. It's like my childhood. You know, 
like Superman the Animated Series. There's like Super Friends from the 70s. There's right there. That's my childhood right there. Um, and there's all, here's all these 90s cartoons I watched growing up. Rugrats. Uh, I really am a big kid. If anyone knows me, I'm a big kid at heart. There's Spongebob. And not only that, my, my daughter likes this and my nephews. They like all this stuff. So they can appreciate it. <clears throat> and then, of course, the middle shelf again. I have all these cars. I had these since I was a kid. So, pretty cool. But anyways, let's see what we have on the top. Uh, we got this Justice League animated series box set. That's my childhood. Then we got a thing of Homer. If you press it, I wonder if it works. Okay, don't work. It's dead. Never mind. There's a box set of the complete Flintstones animated series. We got a little thing of Stewie. Let's see if he talks. I highly doubt he does, but... Oh! There you go, it works. Cool. God, I had that for years. <laughs> MASH. Got the complete box set of MASH. That is one of my all-time favorite shows. Um, great show. We got a thing of Peter Griffin from Family Guy. Collectible doll of Jack Sparrow. You know, Johnny Depp from the second movie. Had that for years. Collector's box set of Scarface. Al you know, the Al Pacino movie. Um... Elvis Presley movie box set, which I just showed that recently too, and an X Men or from the early '90s action figure, which I had that action figure when I was a kid. Um, I used to play, I had an action figure like that I used to play with. But yeah, so yep. So these are all. This is my movie collection, not all of it, but a good bulk of it. So yeah. Over here on this wall, we have a poster of Tupac Shakur, the rapper, which, you know, honestly, he's probably the best rapper of all time. Um, when I do my genre video, he will definitely be in there. And last but certainly not least, you know, this is my man cave. So I have a lot of my, you know, favorite singers, and most of them are male. And, you know, it's a man cave. You got to have something like this in the room. Um, hopefully I don't get flagged for it. But, <laughs> yeah, I got that. I got Nicki Minaj up in the back of the door. You know, I put it in the back of the door, but sometimes kids come over. So, you know, we make sure this is out of the sight. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so this is my little man cave piece um, with the one lady that's in here. But I may switch it out with something else. I don't know. But we'll see. But you know what? That's it. That's my man cave. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, so I showed it before. This is a lot better quality. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this where I leave my stuff and where I sit and make my videos. I sit right there. Um, so thank you for watching and I will see you all very soon with another video. All right. I'm not going to go on that, uh, Nicki Minaj picture again. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep it right here at Tupac. All right. So I'll see you all later guys. Bye.